Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, mini series where I go over these little SEO case studies and I break down uh, what the client was, who the client was, sorry, what they did and the results or the business impact that SEO had on the client. So that being said, let's get started. Uh, you've probably heard of this brand, it's called Vessi. Uh, it's a Canadian brand and they essentially sell shoes. So let's just get started with it. So Vessi, as I said, is a Vancouver-based D2C footwear brand, direct-to-customer footwear brand. Uh, we, and I'll talk about a bit more who, who is the we, um, we've been working with for the past uh, five years from day one to 100 million plus in online sales. This is huge, right? Of course, these 100 million also include paid traffic, but again, this is just solely about SEO. And this is the site, uh, as you can see here. Uh, so what were they doing um, as a client, right? And before I go over what they were doing, uh, the we part right here, this is uh, Jackie. Uh, he's a, a seller here on Vetted. Uh, he sells some of these link building services here, and uh, but he also sells a more tailored custom SEO package. If you're interested, if you're interested, sorry, I'll talk a bit more about that at the end of the video. So that's the we. It's Jackie and his team. So moving on, what they were doing as a client. So again, Jackie started with them at zero, so they had zero technical SEO, right? So the site was not built for search. There was a ton of the, of the sorry duplicate content and zero keyword research then, right? So duplicate content, as you might know or you might not know, is a big no-no in the SEO space, right? You don't want to have duplicate content. And keyword research is often a step that is skipped by a lot of people um, because people just want to get started, getting rankings, getting content up, getting backlinks up, and they neglect the keyword research, which is so, so, so important. I understand it's boring, but it's very important to know what keywords you're targeting so then you can build a strategy on top of the keywords that you're targeting, right? Makes makes perfect sense. Um, then no link building at all, right? They were focused on Facebook ads and not off-site SEO. So no links were built. There was no strategy to acquire backlinks, right? Um, and then, as I said before, no content, a no content strategy, right? There's no point in writing blog posts if you're not targeting any keywords because they were not doing keyword research. They were writing for the fake, uh, for sorry, for the sake of writing. And a lot of people end up doing this because it feels like it's work and it is work but at the end of the day if you're just writing for the sake of writing you won't really get anywhere you're just gonna, gonna spend resources and time and money and um it's just pointless right and a lot of people do this unfortunately so i often try to say that please do some keyword research before uh you start uh, your content writing journey okay so these were the issues right and this was where the site was at and let me show you the business impact um right here i'll show you a couple of screenshots right Number one for the rank number one for waterproof shoes because the whole thing about them or the main thing was that they had these perfectly waterproof shoes that was the the main business uh, point of them right so ranking number one on Google for waterproof shoes for over three years which resulted in 10 million plus tracked in revenue from organic traffic right and these are trackable sales from Google's uh, not Google search console sorry Google Analytics right you can track sales from organic of course in here will be some branded keywords which may come from ads but I think you get the point because you're ranking for waterproof shoes, which is a keyword, a massive keyword, right? For over three years, you can guess, you can uh, track and get a lot of sales, right? So um, that's that's that. And of course, if we break this down even, you can collect emails, you, a person that buys once can buy twice, right? There's a bunch of things here, so it is, it is pretty interesting to, to look at this. But again, in this type of videos, I don't want to break it down too much because I want to keep this fast uh, and sweet. So next up, Next up, sorry, uh, 500 plus backlinks generated, right? And there's, of course, a direct correlation between backlinks built and organic traffic growth. And we can see that here. Uh, sorry, not on this graph, but um, makes sense. And I, unfortunately, I cannot show you here. But uh, there is, in fact, a direct correlation between the number of referring domains and backlinks and the traffic the site gets, right? Because Google views it as an authority in Google and in search. And, of course, it will rank, rank it higher. And, of course, people can also reach the site via the backlinks. And 100 plus blog posts written, right? It's not just too, so much about the number of posts, because, again, you can write just for the sake of writing. It's about what the post is and how it's written. And which generated 100 plus, 100K plus earning traffic from the blog directly from us, so alone. And the results are clear since they started and since they finished. And right here for waterproof shoes. Um, of course, they have the ads here, Vessi, Vessi, Vessi. Uh, some of these aren't even, all these are ads, sorry. Again, Vessi, but organically, Vessi again for waterproof shoes, right? The world's first waterproof shoes, Vessi footwear. Okay, so this is it. Um, again, with these videos, I just want to show you the power SEO can have organic, because yes, it's always good to focus on a mixed strategy, right? With ads, 
and organic, but don't just focus on ads because once you turn off the faucet on the ads, you start getting sales. SEO is a long-term play and it is a great play. Of course, I know I'm biased, but it's case studies like these that make me, uh, I guess, proud and make me want to show you um, the power of SEO, right? So hopefully you like this one. Uh, before I go, I did, of course, want to mention how you can hire Jackie. I'll leave a link for his profile in the description. He does sell the links here. The exact links that he built here are some of them built for this client. You can buy them here, right? He has already had a, a ton of orders and people seem to love his links. And if you want to hire him for a more tailored strategy, right, with on-page, off-page, all that, you can just click here on Manage SEO and um, click Hire SEO Talent and we'll uh, just fill out a form. Of course, there's a minimum of $1,000 per month. If you, if, you, if you qualify, we'll, we can match you with him if we feel like uh, he's the right person for you. And um, again, before I go also, I guess I can promote this little tool that we developed. It, it is a tool that gives you a ton of SEO data, right? Only though the essential. Um, so you can scroll through here, I'll leave a link for this in the description. It gives you a rank tracker, referring domains, backlinks. You can even put a competitor, competitor's domain and check their backlinks so you can copy them. Uh, it gives you organic keyword data, a bunch of stuff. And again, only gives you the essential data because yes there's tools that are out there that cost a hundred dollars per month but uh, we wanted to build a tool that was cheaper but only had the essential data so that you use a hundred percent of the tool and um, finally I do want to mention this little tool as well journalist um, if you're writing content for SEO um, you might want to take a look at this uh, it allows you with a push of a button and you get a free trial if you go to this page you can try it for free so I'll leave a link in the description you can essentially give it your URL, the description of your business and your niche and check which, because uh, we generate articles based on actually uh, training news content. So it's relevant content to what your niche is and to what's happening in the world. So it's pretty cool to generate SEO optimized content. Um, so yeah, if you want to give it a go, I'll leave it in the description as well. And yeah, that's, that's about it. Check out Vetted. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you like these uh, little short types of videos. Weird background today, I'm at a hotel, but uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.